I wanted to go over really quick why we designed this pop-up emitter and why we designed it the way we did. Traditional pop-ups were spring-loaded, really small. When leaves and tree seeds would try to get out of them, they couldn't. We wanted to make our pop-up emitter to where it would let leaves out, tree seeds out. And another thing that frustrated me, all the pop-ups on the market, you couldn't get your hand down in them. So when you have a bunch of leaves and tree seeds and tree buds that floated to the other end, maybe you didn't have a hard rain, maybe you had a light rain. So it just floated to the other end. I wanted to be able to stick my hand down inside that pop-up emitter and clean that fitting out. So that's what we did. We designed a pop-up emitter that you could get your hand down inside. We're the first to ever do something like this. Another thing that used to frustrate me, these are really tiny. And the grass grows over them in a minute. That's a problem because then you lose them. Now your underground berry downspout system is not daylighting. What that means is your water has to be taken to daylight. You can't lose your water underground. That's not usually the way it works. If you run it to a storm sewer, sometimes it can work that way, but nine times out of 10, you're going to a pop-up emitter. It needs to daylight. If grass grows over it, now all that water is gonna pour right at the roof. Your gutter trough's gonna fill up and it's gonna pour off of the house. You're gonna end up with a flooded basement or a flooded crawl space over a pop-up that the grass grew over. What we did is we designed a pop-up emitter so that grass can grow on top of it, but it won't impede the lid from opening and letting the water out. A couple times a year, you can trim the grass out around it. Those are all the reasons why we made our turf restrictor plate and a really, really large opening for our pop-up emitter. Now, pop-up risers have typically been made of PVC. The problem with PVC risers, these lawnmowers today, these big zero turns with operators on them, they weigh so much that they crack these. So what we did is we went ahead and we designed an HDPE riser. Gives you two inch lifts. It has a flange, no tools required, no glue required. When you backfill it with dirt, it's not gonna pull off because the dirt's gonna get caught on the flange. This flexes, this has a lot of give and it can't be broken by lawnmowers. In the winter time, if you have a pop-up freeze up, this will expand and contract with the freeze and thaw cycle. You can also stack them if you need to go a little higher.